Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in to the show today. I'm Jenna Stauffer and this is Tom Oosterhout. Hello Jenna. my dear. <laughs> How are it's you? It's always so good to be here with you on Friday morning. Well, it's wonderful being here with you, Tom. And it's wonderful seeing what all you have in your paper. Well, you know, this week there's just so many positive things. But, uh, you know, I think it's just incredible that the state governor, Governor Rick Scott, mm -hmm. brought his whole cabinet to Marathon and actually held cabinet meetings at Stanley Switlick School of Marathon. Is that amazing or yeah, what? Yeah, that mean, is. And why? What was his reason? Well, he wanted to school? get everybody out of Tallahassee and he wants to do like a road show around the state so people get more familiar with their state government. Mm -hmm. But I mean, he had uh, the Attorney General, the, 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 uh, the Director of Agriculture, I mean, all these uh, cabinet members with him and these are the people who run our state. And, mm -hmm. So it was just really exciting, and it was great for the kids at Stanley Switlick. Mm -hmm. You know, it's an elementary slash middle school, and uh, Leslie Salonero is the principal. Bless her heart, she's wonderful. And uh, anyway, it was a great experience to see all these people, government uh, people, working. Mm -hmm. You know, and the mm -hmm. kids never get to see anything like that. So it's just great. Right. Just great. Very educational for mm -hmm. the kids, of course, as well. Mm -hmm. And along with having all the photos from that, you yeah. have photos from everything. Well, right? yes, yes. <laughs> it's the Key West High School girls, the fashion class, uh, did their annual fashion show. And, oh my God, they, every year they just amaze me. I mean, they look like runway models, and they uh, produce some of the most amazing uh, high chic fashion mm -hmm. clothing you can imagine. I uh, wanted some of those dresses. Uh, that the, I, I, I could see you in them. I could <laughs> see were you in them. They dresses. Yes, I mean, yes. they have so much talent for just mm -hmm. being high school mm -hmm. students. Mm -hmm. Are they juniors and seniors? Or? Uh, yeah, uh, seniors mostly, seniors, but uh, okay. yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, they, they came up with some amaz amazing creations. Oh, they you know. did, they did. I'm so proud of them. And the girls were so cute and so gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. you know. So you had fun. Yes, did I did. Did you get to be in the fashion show, Tom? The, no, I did just take, I male? am just the photographer. Did they do any male? Um, yeah, well, they have a few uh, guys in there. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I got tickled. Uh, the star athlete this year, uh, Clive George, was in it, and he okay. looked fine. He's a <laughs> football slash track player. In fact, he just won a... Uh, State championship and track, and uh, mm -hmm. so I mean, Clive is something else, but he was in the fashion show. So okay, we so there lo were we some love guys. Clive. That's good. They yeah. didn't leave the guys out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have the fashion show. Yeah, and the then we have, uh, you know, a bunch of Key Westers who are in this new show by Anne O'Shea, our resident film producer. Mm -hmm. And uh, anyway, uh, they uh, uh, won the uh, Tribeca Film Festival up in New York last week. Mm -hmm. So we have a big spread on that. Scenes from the Tribeca Film Festival, mm -hmm. and quite a few locals in it, and uh, one of her co-producers is Dan um, Skayen and his partner Wayne Smith, and they were there, and then you had Randy Roberts and Randy Thompson, local entertainers who were there, mm -hmm. and, and actually they were in the movie, and they were on hand for the big win in Tribeca, wow. so that was, they're so exciting. Very exciting. So this is an exciting an thing for the day for Key West, mm -hmm. yes. Absolutely, absolutely. And, uh, and you have it all covered. All in right here in Key West, in all in Con color. <laughs> and we're also going to be talking with Bob Bowersox later on in the show yes. about Home Exchange, which is taking place at the Waterfront Playhouse Theater. And I hear this is a play that I, you can't I gave it two thumbs up. Two I mean, it is up. mystery <laughs> theater at its best. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, well, we've got to get started with the show. We'll be back with the general manager of Lou Key Resort and Dive Center, and then later on in the show, Bob Bowersox from the Waterfront Playhouse Theater. Don't go away. <laughs> 